Imagine standing on a giant wall made of concrete, looking down at a deep canyon where a powerful river once rushed freely. Below the Colorado River now flows calmly through the desert, while above a huge lake stretches into the distance. The sun shines on the smooth surface of the dam, and a breeze carries the scent of warm rock and water. You are standing on the Hoover Dam, one of the greatest engineering projects in American history. The Hoover Dam is located on the border between Nevada and Arizona in the southwestern United States. It was built during a very difficult time in American history called the Great Depression. In the 1930s, many people were out of work, and the country was facing serious problems. At the same time, the western United States needed water, electricity, and protection from floods. The Colorado River, which flows through mountains, deserts, and canyons, was often wild and hard to control. Something needed to be done, and the idea of building a massive dam began to take shape. The plan was to build a dam in a narrow canyon called Black Canyon. It would block the river, store water in a large lake, and provide hydroelectric power for cities like Los Angeles and Las Vegas. The project would also give thousands of people jobs when they needed them most. But building such a huge dam had never been done before. The walls would need to hold back billions of gallons of water. The builders had to work in extreme heat, carve through rock, and pour more concrete than ever used on any project before. Construction began in 1931. At first, workers had to build tunnels to move the river out of the way. These tunnels were dug through the walls of the canyon, and they were wide enough to drive trucks through. Then they started building the dam itself. Thousands of men came to work, often bringing their families with them. A whole new town called Boulder City was built nearby to house the workers. Working on the dam was hard and dangerous. The summer heat in the canyon could reach over 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Men used jackhammers, explosives, and huge cranes to move rock and pour concrete. The noise was loud, the work was tough, and the schedule was fast. But the workers were proud. They knew they were building something important, something that would last. To build the dam, workers poured concrete in large blocks, one after another. If they had poured it all at once, it would have taken more than 100 years to cool down. So they used a system of pipes and cooling water to make the concrete harden faster. In total, the dam used more than 3 million cubic yards of concrete, enough to build a two-lane road from New York to California. When it was finished in 1935, the dam stood 726 feet tall, taller than any dam in the world at the time. It was named after President Herbert Hoover, who had supported the project when he was in office. Behind the dam, the water from the Colorado River formed a huge lake called Lake Mead, which became the largest man-made lake in the United States. The lake stores water for farms, cities, and homes across the Southwest. The Hoover Dam also began producing electricity using turbines powered by the rushing water. This clean energy helped power cities and industries during a time of growth and change. Even today, the dam still provides electricity to millions of people in Nevada, Arizona, and California. But the Hoover Dam isn't just about power and water, it's a symbol of American determination. During a time when many people were struggling, the dam showed that big dreams could still be built. It helped the country move forward, created jobs, and turned the desert into a place where cities could grow. Visitors from around the world come to see the Hoover Dam. They walk along the top and look out at the massive wall holding back the water. They visit the power plant deep inside the dam and see how water spins the turbines to make electricity. The dam is also surrounded by desert beauty, rocky cliffs, blue skies, and the winding river below. The Hoover Dam has stood strong for nearly 90 years. It has faced floods, droughts, and time itself. It is still one of the greatest engineering marvels in the world. Engineers, students, and builders continue to study it and learn from it. When you turn on a light or take a drink of water, you may not think about where it comes from. But behind those simple moments is a story. A story of workers with big ideas and bigger determination. The Hoover Dam reminds us that with teamwork, courage, and hard work, people can shape the land and change the future. It's not just a wall of concrete, 
It's a wall of history standing tall in the canyon where a river once ran wild.